Welcome to a journey that explores the intricate relationship between our beloved feline friends and the vibrant world of wildlife. Today, we'll delve into the uncharted territories of the impact that our pet cats have on wildlife conservation, a topic that isn't as widely discussed as it should be. We'll explore the natural predatory instincts of cats, the effects of their hunting habits on biodiversity, and how their nocturnal activities influence wildlife. We'll also shed light on the role of responsible cat ownership and how it can mitigate environmental effects. This exploration is not just about understanding the effects, but also about learning to coexist harmoniously with our feathered and furry neighbors. We'll share some practical tips, backed by science, that every cat owner can implement to make a positive difference. So buckle up as we unravel the fascinating dynamics of cats and wildlife conservation. Scene script. Cats are natural-born hunters, but what does this mean for our feathered neighbors? Well, let's delve into the fascinating world of feline predation. From their razor-sharp claws to their stealthy movements, cats are expert hunters, a trait that's been hardwired into their DNA for thousands of years. Starting with kittens, playtime isn't just about fun, it's also a training ground. Those cute pounces and swipes at moving objects are actually teaching them essential skills for hunting. As they grow, these skills become refined. Cats become adept at stalking their prey, using their keen senses to locate and track. Their silent, calculated movements allow them to get close, often unnoticed. Then, in a swift move, they pounce, using their powerful hind legs and sharp claws to secure their prey. But it's not just their physical attributes that make cats such successful predators. They're also incredibly patient. A cat can sit motionless, watching and waiting for the perfect moment to strike. This level of patience and focus is a testament to their predatory prowess. Now domestic cats don't need to hunt to survive, they're well fed by their owners after all. But the instinct to hunt remains strong, so they often engage in what's called recreational hunting, catching and sometimes killing small animals like birds and rodents, even when they're not hungry. It's clear then that our cuddly companions are also efficient predators. So, how does this predatory behavior impact our local ecosystems? Well, the answer lies in the delicate balance of biodiversity. Biodiversity, or the variety of life in a particular habitat, can be significantly disrupted by the introduction of an efficient hunter like a domestic cat. Let's take a look at some examples. In the United States, it's estimated that cats kill between one and a half to three and a half billion birds each year. That's billion with a B. This is not only a staggering number, but it also includes several endangered species, further threatening their survival. And it's not just the birds. Cats also prey on numerous small mammals, reptiles and insects. This predation can lead to a decrease in local wildlife populations and even the extinction of some species in certain areas. But the impact doesn't stop there. When cats reduce the population of one species, it can create a domino effect throughout the ecosystem. For instance, fewer insects can lead to an overgrowth of the plants they would usually keep in check, which in turn can disrupt the habitat of other species. It's important to remember that cats aren't the villains here. They're simply following their natural instincts. However, their hunting habits, when combined with other human-induced pressures on wildlife, can tip the balance of biodiversity in a dangerous direction. This ripple effect on biodiversity is indeed a matter of concern. As stewards of our environment, it's crucial that we understand these impacts and take steps to mitigate them. But there's more. Our feline friends are not just daytime hunters. Just as the sun dips below the horizon, another world awakens. This is when many wildlife species are most active, from the tiny field mouse to the majestic owl, the nighttime is a symphony of life, but lurking in the shadows, often unseen, is a predator on the prowl. Yes, we're talking about our beloved domestic cats. Cats are natural hunters, and their instincts don't switch off when the lights go out. In fact, they are incredibly adept at nocturnal hunting. With their keen eyesight and acute hearing, they're able to detect and pursue prey, even in the darkest conditions. This nightly prowling can have a substantial impact on local wildlife populations. Small mammals and birds, many of which are already struggling due to habitat loss and other human-induced changes, are particularly vulnerable. Think about it this way, if one cat catches just one mouse a night, that's over 300 lives in a year. Now multiply that by the millions of domestic cats prowling our neighborhoods and you begin to grasp the scale of the issue. It's a tough pill to swallow, especially for us cat lovers. 
but it's important to remember that the cats aren't to blame. They're just following their instincts. It's up to us, their caregivers, to find a balance that allows our cats to express their natural behaviors without causing harm to local wildlife. The night does indeed belong to cats, but at what cost? So what can we do to mitigate these effects while ensuring our cats are happy and healthy? A pivotal part of the answer lies in responsible cat ownership practices. By taking a few simple steps, we can ensure our feline companions lead fulfilling lives while also reducing their impact on local wildlife. Firstly, we can provide indoor enrichment for our cats. This doesn't mean confining them to a life devoid of excitement, far from it. Rather, it's about creating an indoor environment that caters to their natural instincts and keeps them mentally and physically stimulated. Think about incorporating vertical spaces like cat trees or shelves which allow cats to climb and observe their surroundings from a height, a behavior they naturally enjoy. Engaging toys that move or make sounds can also satisfy their hunting instincts. Rotating these toys can keep things fresh and exciting for your cat. Another aspect of indoor enrichment is playtime. Regular interactive play sessions using toys that mimic prey behavior, like a feather wand or a laser pointer, can provide both exercise and mental stimulation. Spending quality time playing with your cat not only strengthens your bond, but also helps satisfy their predatory instincts in a safe and controlled environment. Secondly, if we do allow our cats outside, we can limit their outdoor time to daylight hours when most birds and small mammals are less active. This can significantly reduce their impact on local wildlife. Lastly, consider creating a catio, an enclosed outdoor space where your cat can safely enjoy the outdoors. Catios can be as simple or elaborate as you like and there are plenty of DIY options available to suit every budget. They provide a safe way for your cat to experience the outside world without posing a risk to themselves or local wildlife. Remember, every small step towards responsible cat ownership contributes to a larger collective effort to protect our wildlife. The joy and companionship our cats bring us are undeniable, but it's also our responsibility to ensure that their presence doesn't negatively impact the world around us. Being a responsible cat owner can make a world of difference. But that's not all. Our actions can also positively impact the environment. We've talked about the potential negative impacts of cat ownership on wildlife, but it's not all gloom and doom. With responsible practices, we can significantly reduce and even reverse these effects. So how do we make that happen? Firstly, keeping our cats indoors is a simple yet effective step. It not only protects the local wildlife, but also keeps our furry friends safe from hazards they might encounter outside. Now you might wonder about their natural hunting instincts. Well, indoor enrichment activities can cater to these instincts while keeping them entertained and healthy. Secondly, spaying and neutering our cats can help control their population. This not only reduces the number of stray cats, but also lessens the impact on wildlife. Now let's talk about some real-life success stories. In one community, a team of cat lovers came together to create a catio, an outdoor enclosure for their cats. This allowed the cats to enjoy the outdoors safely while protecting local wildlife. Not only was this a win for the birds and small mammals, but the cats loved it too. In another example, a town implemented a neuter and return program for stray cats. This reduced the feral cat population and significantly lowered the predation pressure on local wildlife. Together, we can make a difference. By implementing responsible cat ownership practices, we can preserve our local ecosystems while ensuring our feline friends live fulfilling lives. So, what have we learned today? We've unraveled the intricate relationship between our feline companions and the wildlife they interact with. We've explored the natural predatory instincts of cats and seen how these instincts can influence biodiversity, especially during the night when many of our feathered friends are most vulnerable. We've also delved into the responsibility we shoulder as cat owners. We've seen how enriching our cat's indoor environment and implementing responsible ownership practices can play a vital role in mitigating the impact on local wildlife. And remember, every small step counts. By understanding and acknowledging these realities, we can start making a positive difference. It's not just about caring for our pets, but also about respecting and protecting the diverse array of wildlife that shares our environment. So let's take this knowledge and act on it. Join the movement for responsible cat ownership and wildlife conservation. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We've delved into the fascinating world of our feline friends and their impact on wildlife conservation. Eager to learn more? Don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For additional resources on responsible cat ownership and wildlife conservation, check out the links provided. We hope this video has sparked a conversation and inspired action. See you next time as we continue to explore the wonderful world of pets and wildlife.